Yo. Peace, peace, peace. I'm getting this IG on live. About to be live on the YouTube too. Just for posterity. That way people could do the knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Talk about making this album. You know what I'm saying? Peace to the God. Elo Kush, self styles. Peace, peace. Alright, I see people joining and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, yo, it's a beautiful thing making this album, man. You know? Um, I'm going to bring my brother King Kamal in. You know what I'm saying? Let me see if I bring my brother King Kamal in. I sent that invite. Here we go. Peace, yeah. God. Peace to the God. Yo, we on this one yeah. here, yo. Yeah, man. <laughs> yo, God, man. What is this fucking journey, man? You know what's crazy is that we doing this now, yeah. right? Right, and, right. Um, that whole feeling of making that song and like when we know we did something that shared our reality, like we on it right now because I just shared you a verse. Man, yeah. wait till they hear it, God. Like, for real. Like, those who supported us, man, like, the love is overwhelming. You know what I'm saying? I mean, oh, it's, fun, yeah, God, is fun. it's humbling. Wait till they hear what we have in store, man, for those who, like, just supported out the box, man. We got a special little, like, treat for them. You know what I'm saying? Like, wait till they hear what you got cooking. You know what I'm saying? Don't sleep yeah. on the guy, man. Yeah. Soon he has got something, man. He he be you know, humble with it, but he got some flames. <laughs> yo, you know, I, 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 I you know, I gotta start like um, what people don't, you know, what people don't really understand, man, is that like, mm -hmm. I, I never, I never MC my whole mm. childhood. I never tried to write rhymes. Never did any of that shit. You know right. what I'm saying? So when people hear this they're hearing somebody that was writing rhymes for the first time like mm. for a song right the only time like that's why i give my brother marcano aka prince power rule like all the credit because yeah. he was the one that said yo the things you write gotta be on a record but um yeah until then i wasn't doing that so when people hear like a rawness though if they're if they're real real listeners and they're looking for sunyas to slip up on a pocket and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all that shit. <laughs> Yo. You know what I'm saying? Because that wasn't really the goal. Mm -hmm. And when the way you got me to do this was the goal was to, you know, to make actual songs like yeah. we did with 9,000 Miles. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we did with 9,000 Miles. Peace. You know what I'm saying? Peace to the earth. And, um, Peace. yo, what is Vaughn? What is Vaughn? Likewise, they're like, mm -hmm. you know? But like, yeah. like the 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 shit about it is like it's like when you start when you don't a lot of people don't don't know this. Some people say they know it in the interview guy, yeah, but like when I was growing up, so I didn't listen to no music of my right. choice. Right, so right. I, I was in, so in elementary school, all I did was break. Right. I break dance. That's mad cliche, but I did. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. There's my there's my there's my girl hey, my peace. daughter luna peace, hey, luna. peace luna you know what i mean peace. even luna knows she's my oldest she never heard me write rhymes of my own never right. i never wrote any rhymes she never heard me rhymes all she would hear me hug her and i go they stand the test got father time rhymes i'm doing cos <laughs> rhymes i'm doing somebody else's rhymes charcoal quest i'm doing wu-tang rhymes rissa imitations KRS. indeed but um peace to the god yeah, fine education you. Yo, junior high school, mm -hmm. I never listened to any music. I didn't listen to no music. Mm. And rap was too fast for my ear. Wow. So but when I get into high school is when I get into music, mm. guys, and mm -hmm. I fall in love with the music because I hear music and verses that I'm like, mm -hmm. yo, they were, all, all the elders was lying to me, though. They got, they saying something <laughs> here. <laughs> Word. And all the visions of what Rakim was and how cool that was, I'm like, yo, I got to go listen to him. And I just think he's so cool because Rakim was the coolest, even though I never understood anything he was right. saying. And um, 
if you, you fast forward that that's high school, once I'm in college, God, I'm already writing about artists. Mm. So I've been a hip hop journalist since I was 19 years right. old. And right, right. other MCs, they're writing their first, they're writing their best rhymes. They're starting to really peak. Right. I'm meeting legends, God. I'm meeting legends, though. You don't write rhymes. You don't write your own rhymes after you're with a legend. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it could be intimidating. <laughs> I'm like, nah, I, I do something else. I do something else. And that's what led me to write the, the, the five and say, yo, what I'm doing as a writer and a journalist, I've got to make it creative so it could be an element. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why, that's how that, how that came about. Right. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. all these years later, God, like, all the experience in studios, all the experience listening to music, and I, and then you you got to, yo. It was let preparing. Me about, let me tell you about King Kamal. This is <laughs> fucking Quincy Kamal. <laughs> you know when, he, when he needs that verse, though, that, yo, that's my Kamal custom motto. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he had to, like, yo. When I we, am Butterfly. Like, when we did that Gets Up song, Gets Deep, when we did Gets Deep, Oh man, Peace. you yo! Mm -hmm. All I look is my text, and he's like, "Yo, God, it's like you all caps mm -hmm. on me. You all cap on me. You're, yeah, you yeah. like, yo, it, God, you gotta put the theory in it. Yeah, you gotta make it, yo, for the people. Like you gotta build. Oh. And I was like, I'm on the bus, God. I'm on the bus when you text me. <laughs> I'm getting mad. I'm like, yo, I'm looking crazy. I'm looking crazy. I'm like, yeah, I gotta do it. Uh -huh. I gotta do it. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it, I know it, it had to be done, God. Like, it's just when I heard the track, it's like uh, uh, I, 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 when I heard the instrumental, I like just straight blacked out. And then I get I have this ritual where I just get like into a zone and I just like I just like mm. I get in tune like the core of myself, man. Not no mystery, no spooky stuff, but I get in core with. You know, just like how the most important part of a fruit is that center, like the seeds, like everything, like the apple, the but you know, all that, like the, the core of who I am, the essence of what makes me who I am was like tapping into that beat. And all I was hearing before I even heard myself on it, God, was I heard you on it. And then we had been building about all of this like divisiveness, how people are like trying to capitalize and come with their own like you know trick knowledge and stuff man with you know you know brown man black man yellow man this that and all that and everything in the place right. that people have in hip-hop and when i heard the beat immediately i started thinking yo we need to say something actually soon yes got this like this is this is this oh, is like man. this is your and, this is your moment to set that shit straight god and we was making these these songs so particular, they had to be perfectly done. You right. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I had those three spots, and I was like, "Yo, I gotta, I gotta," you know. And I was <laughs> like, "I said, you know what? I gotta do my alias. I gotta be Hector Lobo." You know what I'm saying? Lobo. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I was like, "Yo, man!" I, and the song I was li listening to. I told you the song I was listening to was Hector Lavoe's El Sonero Mayor. Mm. Because for those that don't know, salsa, like the real salsa, right. though, they were sonero. Like, that's what M. Sonero Salsero, mm. right? Singer, mm -hmm. salsero. Sonero is a skilled singer. So that's See? like saying MC in hip hop versus rapper. You know what I'm saying? He, and yeah. um, I was like, yo, he's the one that calls everybody out on that song. So I was like, yo, I got to have that blood in there. I got to. Yo, but you opened it like it's like, and you closed it like you were like the like the closer like when, like when some like when ATF and all come in and kick in doors and stuff <laughs> like that. The last person to leave like air everything out and stuff, man. Oh, and it was like man. all that passion. I was man. like, yo, oh. like how the Wu had the alter ego with the Gambino thing and all that. It's like. You channeled your Hector Lavo, man. Like, you, oh, man. you, hey, yo, you for, snap. Yo, for those that don't know, like, when I said, a la mujer, a la mujer tengo un montón. That's my friend. Mm. Pero a ti canto in Hong Kong. That was the Kung Fu. That's a, that's a line from Lavo, man. Yeah. And I was like, I put that to the end. I was like, yo, we yo. doing it rugged like that. And, you know, it's a blessing, you know, mm. man. Like, peace to... 
you know, straight paper, aka icon, you know what I mean? Back in the day he was icon, Sunset Park MC. Right. Like these are the guys I looked up to and I was like, yo, I gotta represent because Sunset Park, man, with mm -hmm. the boy was that like we had to go, go somewhere to get names. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, you know, we we the that's why I would say Sunset Park, the lung of Medina, the, the iron lung of Medina, you know, like Man, they know I about heard. that style, they know about Brownsville, like, yeah. let me represent for this small little place here, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I dropped a lot, a lot of historical notes, you know, the from that salsa, the first urban genre to be in down rock originators, you know, and I just was the revolution, unmuffled oh. the of our bees, vaya, your leg game crazy. To windmills ill because he invented the windmill. Yo, God, when yeah. I heard, when I listened to your lyrics to that, it, it it no matter how many times I listen to it, it gives me chills like how it did when it brought me back to when you first like shot like the vocals over to me. I was like, yo, I said I can hear all that, that anger, that passion, and like just uh, like yo, I was, like, I was yo. doing takes. I was doing takes, and especially the third verse, I was mm -hmm. like, nah, man, he wants it angrier. Right, and right. I scrapped it, and I was like, because, yo, this album, like I said, I've never emceed like this. I never mm -hmm. emceed, mm -hmm. but I did every single verse in one take, mm -hmm. including the long-ass verse on Cycle of Trife. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I did right. that all in one take. So I did. I practiced and practiced just to keep something of integrity to the mm -hmm. art. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it was like, Oh man, you you got you got me hyped though, and that's why I said like, yo, the we're the original man. Elements take time to develop their sentiment. Man, original genetics, verbal aesthetics, dance Ooh. Afro, sentiment always gave betterment. We are special mm. Afro business. You tried to mask us with your pus custom fuss. I first came to converse, but now I'm here to concuss. Ah. Yo, oh, yeah, yeah. You put, and I know you was putting that grit in there, uh, and it's like the beat dropped, yeah, and it came back. In. Yo, so when you came on before mm -hmm. me, you was like, you had the err. Uh, I can hear you on the mic yeah. going. Uh, yeah, uh, you, it was, it was you, you, such a fun. Yo, well, real word is bond. Like when we made that song, then we knew, like, yo, this album is coming out special. Yeah, when we yeah we did that song, then we knew like yo we could we could make great songs, and it was about song crafting. Cause look, let's mm -hmm. rewind, man. Because right, people don't. I say I I call this era the invisible renaissance. I I documented it this way as a as a as a journalist as a right. historian, mm -hmm. and um, it's because. So much of the greatness is invisible. You know what I'm saying? Right. We see the tip of the iceberg, the Griseldas, the Rock Marcy, and it dope and everything. Mm -hmm. But that's mm -hmm. just the small tip of the iceberg. Right. You know what I'm saying? That people can see. And you can come on are the epitome of that. Because you've been doing music so long, getting gold plaques, getting recognition, being in the studio with legends, people that yeah. became legends, yeah. and so much depth. And I was like, yo, um, th this brother is the dopest and we know each other because we i started to teach you as a student to get you back into this knowledge yeah. get you back into 120 like deep yeah and uh, and and we've been building and it just became a friendship and right. and i did you didn't ask me to, to listen to your music right and i wrote about it in my books just because i found it on right. my own right you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if you want to know how dope he's been, like just go back one year, go back and listen to that Paramount EP. <laughs> the, the, the life, the, the trials and tribulations, the soul. This man, yo, man. I always wanted to be a soul singer. That's why I never wrote no rhymes. <laughs> I'm just trying to be Donny Hathaway. You know what I'm saying? Yo. Take a love song. I and know. <laughs> like that's <him. laughs> All because of a woman. Yeah. <laughs> yo. <laughs> but you know what? Well, first of all, I want to start off um, saying peace and love to all the positive people, man, oh, and the word. guys' nerves and all word. the positive people, man, hey, hey, in the uh, comment section. Yo, is on, but, man. Like, but I want to say, but I want to say with you, even though you didn't set out to be an MC, God, you're, you're like the essence of what hip hop is. Like, you're the oh, essence. You're, like, you're the like whether you wanted to rhyme or not. It's like everything that a true MC and artist should do from like 
old school, like original standards and stuff like that, that they try to cut corners and jump the line in now. Like right, right, right. everything that they're supposed to do, you were already doing it without trying to be an MC. Mm -hmm. Like, and the thing is, is when you're like, when you're, when you're rhyming and you're a true like MC like myself, and you're like collaborating with somebody that's like a wordsmith, like a like a warrior, like with words and stuff, man. Like that shit can be intimidating. Cause I have yeah. been for a long time. <laughs> like, like before Yo. you knew before you knew oh, I existed. Man. That, I was that means so it. that means so much to me because yeah. I always thought that I couldn't make these other elements. You know what I'm saying? And hey, yo. Bad C man, you a you're a superhero in this shit, man. Like the shit that you did on um, I just wrote I just today I wrote my I wrote um I wrote about Bad Seed's newest E P. Right. Um Oh, oh and another thing. Right. That's what it's called. Right. And I wrote about it in my new Reel of Twenty Three book coming out and I was like, yo, this guy can do no wrong. Like, you know what I'm saying? And right. like when brothers like you bad seed, Napoleon the legend, like y'all tell me to just create however I create. Yeah. It means so much to me because yo, bad seed, like I told you, bad seed, like I had your your the um the 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 cream of wheat sticker. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? Like the cream of wheat sticker Word. On, my, on my, my very first journal that I ever wrote. That's how long it goes wow. back. And I was and I was like, yo, this guy's Brooklyn legend, you know what I mean? Like yeah. And he runs better now. Thurston Howe the Third, Big Brother, that name is Skillet. You know, uh, Skillet Straight right. Alone. He runs better now. You guys uh, uh, are amazing and and mm -hmm. inspiring. You know what I'm saying? And That's I was amazing. just like, when I do these songs, I gotta write them as dope as I write the books. Yeah. I gotta give King Kamal something that, like, yo, if people hear me stumble on a bar or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, yo, I could call you now. Like, I could call you with the books. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word like, up. You know what I mean? The, the catalog. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> this is, yo, I, got fucking, I got a fucking phone here. This is, like, this is my Miami Vice phone. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yo, but you know what? The essence of hip-hop and what everybody was trying to, like, get to, it's like, you are part of all of that, God. And me, I look at myself being originally from like the Midwest or uh, Chicago, C. Medina to be exact, where it's like we are kind of pretty much like anybody like from me, Common, Lupe, all of us, we're like hybrids of from being students of what you already what you already are what what you were already what you already were and what you already are it's like we watched we imitated like we looked at new york and still look at new york like as like like superheroes when it comes to this so it's like when you see me or anything that's dope or great at what i do you know what i'm saying i'm just a hybrid and a spinoff of what you already were but by the time i got to the level that i'm at you're like all, all the way up there like on some sensei like <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Sensei. <laughs> yo man like yo, I <laughs> you, man, advice. <laughs> i've been around legends my whole career like you know yeah. what i'm saying like it, it, it's just crazy you know what i mean and, and um mm -hmm. it, it's just so it was so much fun making this album, uh, doing it. Yeah. Like, you no know, people don't even know like how many takes I was giving songs and shit, Man. and how I was doing it over. Man. Like, and and yo, and we cared only about the song. And I'll tell you, like, the best song that shows like how we cared about the song mm -hmm. was Brothers of the Invisible Renaissance. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know that I always felt I could do better on that song. You know what I'm man, saying? Man. And I, I was <laughs> like, yo, I could do it better. I could do it better. Because I, I said such, I love the words that I used that I didn't know how to cut it up because right. I loved each word too much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And so, but when you said that's the perfect beat for Infinite, mm -hmm. oh my goodness. Man, oh yeah. Right. Man. Yo, yo, the guy. Like, his he came in like Spider-Man and that shit. 
Yo, and peace to the God powerful, aka Sim Symmetry guys. Peace Yo, he God. said my brothers right. in the mind will cut through their triple dark ignorance, mental <laughs> scimitars, chilling and lacerate all indolence. Yo, God, peace to the God. You know what I'm saying? Peace like, to the God. Yo. The pretty guy, like, peace to the God. That's the God right there. You know what I mean? And like <laughs> Yeah. Yo, peace of the earth. That, that's the best of clock of the old earth. <laughs> <laughs> Word. You know, that, that was hers for like forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's so, up, man? You know? And um, yo, man, it's it, it's everything. Even in the album, I tried to honor a lot of people that that I had respect for. Mm -hmm. Like in the lyrics, like when people hear, there's two songs that are blatant with it. Like when people hear right. Thin Line, right. I'm talking about my old Earth because she's the one that got me to yeah. write. You know what I'm saying? Um, she's the one that, that made me write. You know what I'm saying? Yo. I had to do book reports. I had to read at least 20 pages every mm -hmm. day and know it by heart, like all of that shit. Wow. And the other song is, um, what was it? Um, I'm, I'm forgetting the name of the song. Let me see. I, I'll pull it up right now. Um, yeah, we got we, we got some bangers, so you're going to have to go through them. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, it was, um, nah, it was, it was, Thin Line also, I'm saying that the song Thin Line, when we was doing that song, it was paying homage two times. Yeah. Because yeah. I was paying homage to my old earth. But right. the way that it flowed was KRS One. Oh. And I, I was thinking like, yo, I did like Will Ferrell, you know, like he does an imitation and it sounds nothing <laughs> like the guy. Uh -huh. <laughs> like KRS One. So it's beef, what a relief. When will this poisonous product cease? Yo, that was, that was that's dope, what dope. I was doing. So when I said peace, it's never believed. You know what I'm saying? Man. Well, confusion, finally, you know? Yo. And it's, it's, um, that was dope. I was just trying to pay homage to every everybody, you know, like on certain songs and shit like that. It just channeled, you know what I'm saying? You and know you what? But, but not to cut your wisdom, God. Uh, I think us adding the good brother, DJ Toshi, in oh, like shit. the middle of it to prepare, to like <laughs> set that verse right. up perfectly. People didn't. No, like I heard your verse and it hit home because it was so much of it related to me. I was like, mm -hmm. I can't write about that subject about BMs because we'd have like mirror verses. I was like, we can't write that. <laughs> so I said, let me take it on the other plane. I said, let me rhyme about the old earth, like the epitome of a mother. You right. know what I mean? And yeah. I said, yo, only Tupac lines could bring that because he had the duality that we was reaching. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. Yo, we, we cut that up, and I was like, yo, Toshi, man, he man. came through. Man. Yo, Shout my brother Toshi, I love you, Toshi, man. Like, he was, man. he, he, we had a, our newest episode, 317, was supposed to come up. He said, nah, I, I'm going to do that for you. Uh, then he heard uh, something with uh, Tripe, and he was like, yo, I'm going to do that one, too. Uh, and he yeah. did that one, you know? It's like, man. Yo, these, these songs are crazy and like i had such crazy ideas and every time i would say i do to you guys you'd be like you was like the song all because of women <laughs> yo you know i'll be down to get down <laughs> yeah. yo you know yo it's it's you it's you saying that and then back with sweetie i'm doing the best for me <laughs> i'm like yo i'm like, that's my shit when I'm, when, when, when my little girl, when my little one, Alma, watch uh, things and stuff, and I'm like, yo, I'm doing the best for me. I I know, right? <laughs> yo, 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 that's all, that's all Earth is, um, is Thin Line. Yeah. Thin Line. Yeah. That's why I call it Thin Line, because I was thinking about the persuaders, you know, yeah. it's a thin line between yeah. love and hate, you know? Yeah. And I said, let me keep it simple with the title, because we were so complex with the concept, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But in that verse, like, yo, I said, I quoted that I had Toshi cut up Mama Made Miracles every Thanksgiving because in that verse, I'm talking about yeah. a pivotal moment in my life when I threw the swine off the table right. at Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I disrespected my earth, my old earth major. Mm -hmm. And I always regret it. I would always hug her and apologize, and she would always punch me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and, that, but if I didn't take a stand, I don't think I would have kept going and continue to take stand. Yeah, man. You know that's saying? the toughest stand when it starts. That's, yo, that's the back to the future moment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so if yeah. these trolls, they want to stop my life, they'll go back and make me make me leave that swine on the plate. 
But it can't do it. It can't do it. It can't go back. It did, God. Yo, I mean, yeah. it, it, it connected perfectly. It did, man. It gave it so much balance. And I think that, you know, me, I came from that angle of a toxic, like, like a brother that was trying to do right and stuff, but the toxic stuff was trying to get the best of me. And then it was like, you came in and you went right back to the purity, like the beginning yeah. and the foundation yeah. and the essence of what makes someone like, you know, the core of what makes someone remember who they are so they don't remain at that like point. It goes right back around full circle. You know what I'm saying? Right back to the beginning of the core, the purity of who yo. you are once you have like that knowledge. Yo, yo, absolutely. Absolutely. Yo, peace to the God, King Arthur, man. That's peace, another. Peace. King Arthur is the type of MC that I would mm. listen to and be like, nah, man, I I'm going to just keep to the paper. <laughs> <laughs> He's the time I was like, nah, nah, you said what he just did there. Like, yo, because his, his fucking. You know, MC mm -hmm. vertical is 60 inches. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, he jumping. And, and, like, so his vocals are so potent. Mm -hmm. Like, no flaws mm -hmm. in the game. I'm like, yo, man, I can't do that. But that's what made the album. Right. If people listen to the album, every song sounds totally different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, have so, you were able to, you have, you're so able to put your pocket on any song. It's yeah. crazy. And yeah. I was like, I can't, I can't do it like that. So when people hear me on all of these different types of songs, mm -hmm. I'm doing totally different shit. So sometimes it's mantras in the Maya of the yep. shit, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. And then other songs a real gravelly, like our swords, or it's like a, you know, like Cycle of Tripe. I was like doing a bouncing. I was like, yeah. like King King's a fairy tale. I, I rapped that yeah. like a fairy tale. Yeah. Like I was trying to do a fairy tale, <laughs> but you, you know? But you, you know what you leaving out? You leaving out on all because of a woman where you got smooth, you get you pulled out oh. the silk jacket. How did you know I'll be gone? And, uh, uh, uh. I was like, I caught that the, the smoothness guy, yeah. man. He pulled oh, the smoking you know. jacket out. Yeah. I was I showed you the Frank Sinatra song I was listening to. <laughs> you know what I'm and he in the song he says it's a it's a quarter to three. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um and he says, um, you know, pour him, Joe. You know what I'm saying? And, he's singing <laughs> Word the song, and I'm like, yo, that's the vibe. And then I was thinking of, of Casablanca when he's out there and he's just drinking and shit. Uh -huh. and, and I was like, that's the vibe I got to get. You know what I'm saying? Good? That's the Everybody. vibe I got to get. Yo, uh, yo, Divine Education said, uh, the, uh, the Don Juan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shout out to Hippie Yo. yo. Peace. But you know, we had you, so you, much fun on this album, though. And yo, God, like, mm -hmm. and and by you know, as a disclaimer, though, I have two BMs. You know what I'm saying? Right. And right. they both love my, my children and stuff like that. They just didn't love me. You know what I'm mm. saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know? It'd be that so way. None of them, none of them can say that the song is about them mm. because they both qualify for the song. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the disclaimer, though. They both qualify, so they can't be the one in the song. You know what I'm saying? So Word. <laughs> none of them could so stop rhyming about me. So what ain't about you? <laughs> they could do the Spider-Man team. You know what I'm saying? Be like this. I know, right? Hey, you know I look at it like uh, the late prodigy said. Take these words home, think it through. <laughs> or the re next rhyme, I'm right like me about yeah, you. Right, you. <laughs> Yo. When you show me that song all because of a woman, I was like, I, I don't know if I could do this project with him, man. I ain't never rhymed like, about no shit like that. Yeah. But I was like, no, oh, I Her just I just personal. spoke through it. I just spoke through it. I wanted to have a regular mm -hmm. voice mm -hmm. and just speak on it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and and just throw it out there. And like so I do that a lot though, because mm -hmm. I I find different pockets. So I go faster, slower, I give a different rhythm. Right. And it just comes out like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Peace to the real mass one, man. Out there in Denver. That's peace. Right. peace. You know? Peace. Peace. And, um, yo, we had so much fun on this project, man. Man, we and, did. Um, and, and, yo, there were certain songs that you helped me make better overtly. Like, mm -hmm. when we did the Inf Mega Beat, oh, you know, the Medina oh, Glory, which is the, the title. Yeah. I had, like, a real... I had that flow, but I had it, like, in a more sing-songy type way. Yeah, and he was like, yeah. he was, like, do it a little different. And I did it again, yep. and it came out the right way. It was like you know the clock ticking. 
it was like that, that yeah. ticking rhythm, like, man, well, you, you did your and thing I, on that I, guy. I tried to be so deep, and I was like, yo, on the song, I don't have to be that complex. Right. You know what I'm saying? Which goes against everything. I have fought my whole career to write complex things <laughs> in paper. Yeah. So when you do the song, to cut it down is like kung fu. Like you're letting things go to do it. Yeah. And I was like, it was so against my vibe. You know what I'm saying? But I was writing some shit, man. I was telling you, remember I was telling you? Like, yeah. yo, every, every click, every talk, every, every, every tick of the clock man. just got the gun at you. So I said, every tick a click and every tock a clock. Train the duck guns of dicks. Dicks is not just dicks in the street. I'm talking about cops, detectives. I know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And savage fits that uh, clock because huh? savages are clocking. Yep. Them devils, they kicks him back. My Dao De Ching, my way in its power never lack. Past blues splattered lives and hells of white fried hives. White fried hot. White fright is the, the fear that will take over the population. Yeah, they get high on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the guy you, uh, the guy you supreme a lot said that's why I don't MC. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Yo, but you know, mm -hmm. I think yo, with the way that you was rhyming. Mm -hmm. I just had to be like, like, yo, this is incredible, mm -hmm. but you want me to do whatever I can do. Because, right. yo, come on, the things that you was giving me was so fucking dope. Like, the voice alterations on Cycle of Trife. Right. That shit, you know, I'm just a young nigga. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I heard it in my head, like a movie, God. Oh, like, man. it was just different. Like, it was the shorty and whatnot. Then you had the alter ego. Then, you know what I mean? But it it it's it it, it, was, it was a beautiful thing, man. Um, yeah. I think that the reason our stuff came out as dope as it is, not just the fact that you know we do what we do in general, I think also because we didn't attack the track in traditional rap artist form, even though we stuck to like certain elements. And I think that's what a lot of people need to do if they want versatility and want to expand their horizon. Like me, when I create, I don't listen to no rap, God. Like when I'm not, when I'm not doing music at all, I'm listening to hip hop. But when it comes time for me to create, like you said, I'm listening to Frank Sinatra. I'm listening to LaFanya All-Stars. I'm listening to Anita. I'm listening to Phyllis Hyman. I'm listening to Ice Brothers. I'm listening to Earth, Wind & Fire. Hey. I'm listening to it all, oh, God. Everything except rap. Pre appreciate it, God. Divine Education said you Yo, two compliment each you other. You know what's crazy, God? Mm -hmm. The God, the God Sim on the YouTube asks, he asks, are there any records y'all left off the project? You know what I'm saying? And yo, you want to tell him? You want to tell him? We got... So mm -hmm. the God thought of like all all the people that, you know, supported on Bandcamp, we got a bonus track that we're going to email to you. You know what I'm saying? And it was, one that we was doing, it was one that we was doing and we just left it off. And it was one, another one where I was like, damn, I could do better. Because what happens is like, when the verse is complex, I'll rhyme it too fast. Mm -hmm. And that's what happens. I rhyme it too fast. And um, I did it again today, the, this verse for the bonus track we're going to send out. And, um, <laughs> oh, that's I just did crazy shit on it, though. I, did, I, I chopped up the flow, yeah. and it just felt more comfortable, and it, and it, and it worked mm -hmm. out. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So, like, sound like, sound like you, yeah. uh, you was rhyming in the pocket on there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's why, like, when people hear it, though, the way I start the verse, though, that's how mm -hmm. I jump started in the pocket, though, because I'm looking at it like a horse, though. Like, I got to get this horse going inside, you know? All right. And you, um, did, you did that, God. Yeah, because so many of these brothers I listen to, they just fall in the pocket or, like, like we was talking about Bad Seed. Bad Seed just plays with the pocket. Like, he don't even, mm -hmm. like... Yeah, he's jumping in and out, does whatever. He has old conversations outside of the pocket, then jumps man. back in. Like, man, he does that. Heroes, man. And yo, come on, when you hear the album, like, you're like, if you want technical skill, like, yo, it's King Come on, like, yo, that's, <laughs> that's, that's yo, when you hear a verse, like, it, there's no mistakes, like, it's, it's just ideal, man. It's just so, it's so, it's so dope, you know what I'm saying? And like, the beat selection was was so different, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. these are beats I never would have thought of, and, like, you was digging. Yeah. And a lot yeah. of, most of 
of the songs, Kamal came up to me with the concept, like, yo, let's talk about this here and do that. Or like, I talked about this. What do you want to do with it? And I would pitch it to you. Like when we did Cycle of Tribe, I was like, well, you talked about a hustler that failed. Mm-hmm. Let me talk about a shady hustler that's some, that, <laughs> that, uh, that actually yeah. succeeded. Yeah. And yo, Controversial. That came about. And obviously, if you, I don't even, I'm never going to say who it's about. People go we all people know who it's about. I said who it's yeah. about. But yeah. um, the, the verse symbolizes everybody in my journalistic career that mm-hmm. was doing shady shit and was getting a pass from payola yeah. or because they had talent. Right. That's why I said the good, the good ain't the only ones talented. Principles are meant for a world that's demented. When everybody's righteous, you don't need to say be righteous. Right. You know? Yeah. And I was at these magazines and I said, Lo, did you see him just sample Jack? Did you mm. just hear him do this? Or did you just see him help gentrification? Did you see? And then it's like, we used to get, we used to get bombed if we had a flag. We used to have right. to show him proof. Yeah. But no, no, no. He's going to have, he's going to widen the spectrum. <sighs> he's going to be good for us. And I'm like, yo, you sound like another organization yeah. right now. We you see how that turns out. <laughs> because it's not, that man is not greater than me. I'm God yeah. in this nation. But that man is not, and then he gets to wear it with no kind of like, let me see what you know. Let me see if you represent it correctly. Nah, yep. none of that. They did no inspection. So these are things that I was like writing about. And I, I was telling, who was I talking to? I was talking to, um, I, was, I was talking to my brother, 07, who I give a salute and all because of a woman. Right. I was telling him that, yo, people talk, I said, hot summers through payola introductions. Mm. And it's like everybody loved when I wrote about Funkmaster Flex and the Source and how he's taking payola. Right. But ain't nobody. Well, who gave you that money? Which song was <laughs> you playing that gave mm. you the money? And I'm like, well, I ain't got to write about that. First of right. all, I wasn't allowed to. Uh, I wasn't allowed wow. to. Wow. But what I do is like, well, which songs were on the radio? All the hot songs. I gave you eight hot summers. Uh, like, yo, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, yo, I do <laughs> that song. I do every, everything in the kitchen sink and that shit. Everything, you know God. Everything. <laughs> you had the hiccup. Had the, it, I, had the hiccup. <laughs> I had the pretty hiccup. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and I used to argue with my brother, Day Son, man. I love you, Day Son. And he w. used to say, after Dead Prez made Hell Yeah with him, they were like, yo, see, he's about that revolution. That's why I said, mm-hmm. after Hell Yeah, they waiting for reparations and revolution, but how long would Chair with Bling on? Ooh. Ooh. How long I caught you know that. I caught like, that immediately. All these things, <laughs> yo, and I had darts in there, like, I had to, I know I had the Destiny Child shit in there. I said, whatever, Destiny creeping. He was competitive. <laughs> <laughs> yo. You, and I said, I said, young guns shot till he drained them. Mm, His number, mm, young guns, yep. the group? Stay ah, proud. I know. Dark fest, I had the dark fest. Man. Money, cash, hoes, and now your children flash those. See? Bars. Oh, uh, man, you had the thing. And I was like, yo, I just love doing that. Like, I, I, you had me in a zone, and I was just like throwing everything. Yeah. And I had my own, I have a lot of my own slang that I've made up over the years, like snare coffin and respect fake yeah. and all this kind of shit. Yeah. And I was throwing all, all that in there, you know what I'm saying? And It made sense, God. It, yeah, it all made man. sense. That, that, it all, that verse, yo, that verse took me so many takes that, like, everybody in the house when I recorded it, they were like, yo, my sister was like, yo, why you keep doing, oh, oh, I know you hated <laughs> that. <laughs> You're like, trust the process. I don't, I don't support him, man, but I trust, trust me, you're going to see what it's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. You know? And um, I don't say directly who the name is because you all know who it is. Mm-hmm. But my point is bigger than that, though. It's all the artists that I wrote that during the years, all these 25 plus years I've been writing journal magazines right. and media. They just let get a pass. Mm-hmm. They let him get a pass. They let Action Bronson get a pass. Wow. They let, you know, um, your old Drew get a pass. Mm. All these people mm. that do things that we would not do, that yeah. we would not 
proud of you. Yeah. I, nobody would have accepted me if I sounded exactly like Big Pun. Man, come on. Tell you me, already know. know. That's because we're right. from a true school. We're from if a I, true school, so you know. If I, right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, yo, I, I was like, nah, man. It, it's got to be somebody to actually seriously question shit even if it comes out with good songs. Mm -hmm. And that's why, that's what would make us a journalist. And I just, I was like, this is a great form, man. I'm going to let off on this though. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully we, hopefully we trend off that shit and get some controversy. Indeed, God. And, <laughs> speak, and speak, 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 and speak, speaking of controversy, before you continue, yo, and, and uh, you said, uh, you mentioned uh, old Drew, uh, or they call him old dog Drew, whatever, whatever he called himself, the guy that rapped like Nas or tried to rap like Nas. Yo, don't think I ain't forgot, homie. You know exactly. And since we on the topic of like, I'm just going to take half of a second. I don't like you, and you know why. Moving right along. There we go. <laughs> Yo, this is what I'm saying, though. Uh -huh. You know, that's why the whole time we was doing the album, I was like, yo, this is the silk peddler, though. I wasn't getting, <laughs> I wasn't getting bars, you know, mailed to me. I was getting silk. <laughs> <laughs> on oral rope. Like he was on an oral rope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, peace of the God. G stats. Peace, Yo, God, Casper. Peace. peace. Yo, you know what I mean? Man, That's we... a joke. The, the songs that Casper and Lex got in the album together. Ooh, mm -hmm. man. I'm so happy to be on that album. This is such a banger. That's you know dope. what I'm saying? Oh, man. And like, yo, yo, all the people that, that told me that I could put stuff on record and stuff, like Spit Gems, mm -hmm. you know, you know, uh, my, I, like I said, my brother Marcano, the leftovers right. that, you know, Aguilar, who gave me a whole song to just build. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The guys to Dot X who laced us. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yep. Like, the, these are brothers that, like, we we, we, we lived with. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, Sadat X, like, I tell people, Sadat X was there when I got my L's. Wow. So when I got my L's as a low life at the low goose on a deuce, I had to show and prove. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I had to be like, yo. Everything is low. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everything is low. I had to, to be like that. And, and, and when I did it, though, right. and I showed him proof and showed my new shit, Sadatix is right, right there. And he's like, yo, the God is on point. You know how to guard me. <laughs> and I was like, yo, I'm the, hype, the illest hype man ever while I get my L's. Wow, you know? that, that's major cosign. sign. <laughs> yeah, man. So it was, it was great. It was great. You know what I'm saying? And like the God is, it has always been really, really peace. You know what I'm saying? Good day, good. And, um, and, and like, yo, we really only, we had Sadatix as a, you had Sadatix as an old verse. Right. Right. And, mm -hmm. and we only were looking for one person that we thought the song wasn't complete. Yeah. And we said, yo, we got to have a woman on this shit. Yep. We need like the, we, and you were like, yo, we need the earth. So we like, we can't be having no like 85 woman. You uh, know what I mean? Not uh, not at all. <laughs> and, then we, and I was like, yo, I was like, yo, yeah. I'm like, let me see. I, I know, I know who's going. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Went through the catalog. <laughs> <laughs> and I was Archives. like, yo, it's got to be, it's got to be back with Sweetie, man. She's Ooh. dope. She's yo, dope. man. New, mm. fresh. Yo. Hey, man. She gave she gave it to us on a strength and she just added on Man. and um people Hills. people love that verse they keep telling me like yo I think I think listeners yo especially the brothers they fall in love they're like yo man yeah. like she was bombing but they like they fall in love with yo the skill the voice like Man, man. yo she you, she's a force to be reckoned with God and you know I really 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 am thankful that she like blessed us with a feature. And I mean, you and her like chopping it up, man. I mean, y'all made that happen, God. Like, so it's like salute to both of y'all, man. I mean, oh, it, it was it made so much sense, God. And you were saying that for about a whole month. I know. God. Oh. <laughs> you were saying that for a whole month, you know. And like, yo, back with Sweetie has an album. She has an album that she did in 2021. Mm -hmm. She has an EP that she did, and like those two works. You're gonna be addicted, you know what I'm saying? Man. And support it because she has like she has merch yep. that's really dope. It ain't like whack merch. She has like trading cards that are really dope. Yeah. Lyric book, like it's official. You Indeed. know what I'm saying? Like she's one of the best MC and not female MCs, and MCs right MC. now. Like okay? true a MC. true spitter. A true Word. spitter. 
She spits. You know, like, like, yeah. Everything sounds good, man. And she was real professional. Yeah. You know? And then after that, like, when we did all the songs, we were like, yo, we have some spots. Like, we could fix up Infinite Mind. I told you, man, when he did Brothers of the Invisible Renaissance, Ooh. I was like, okay, okay, okay. Cooking okay, like a bunch of chick mix I'll, about shower I'll, posse. I'm messing with this. I'm messing with this. This song, okay. You know what I'm saying? Despite, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, this is dope. You know, he was like, he was like, and Sue, yes, and Skillet Straight Alone, and them seven out here. Oh. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> he came out. Yo, yo, the guy did 180 moves on a track, man. Like, man, it's crazy. He didn't he, I got, as a, as a preview of just talking about it, I'm, I'm doing a solo album. And that song that we did together is completed. And it's totally different. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, it was, it's a whole Kung Fu song. And I'm the elder. <laughs> And he's the student. Oh, that's and dope. He, I send them off to kill. I send them off to kill. And I'm, so I'm speaking a lot of ancient shit. Uh -huh. And I'm just telling them, like, yo, it's time that you, you know, but I'm doing it in the old kung fu voice. It's crazy. <laughs> that's it's dope, crazy. God. That's you know? dope. Yeah, yeah infinite, yo, infinite mind. <sighs> yo, but the, uh, then the other feature, we did the build. Mm -hmm. And then I had ended it, though. And I was like, yo, man, we still build. You know, mm -hmm. like. Oh, yeah. We still build. And, yo, the guy was like, yo, I got the earth, and she had this dope build. You want to hear it? Mm -hmm. And you listen it, and it was like, yo, what you think? And I was like, yo, harmony, equality. I was like, yo, that sounds dope. Yeah. That sounds yeah. dope. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, she went in. She went it, in, God. It was, it was perfect. It was a perfect build. It's a build that is is the earth purely because it's not a build that we would have came with. Right. We would have right. never had that understanding mm -hmm. and it was powerful you know what I'm saying? it was powerful when i did that verse i was trying to give, give you that welcome to the class yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah. like a warm voice you know like when i teach you know like uh, over the years teaching at the law school of mecca i've always gotten the thing with good and bad uh-huh because i'm so welcoming people think i let shit go <laughs> but i, I don't want people to be scared off the bat right. i want them to feel comfortable in this laboratory to experiment in the classroom and what they get wrong we correct what they get right we we, we further and and i wanted to get that vibe you know what i'm saying yeah. and, um, that was that shit was, you yeah, was like come here take you take your seats boy you just <laughs> went in and i was like yo oh <laughs> uh, man and like that last line was real because I, I just wanted to salute the line just the square like the actual yeah. sign and like yo Old, it's been 20, 23 years. Like, in a couple of days, it's officially 23 mm. years that I've been teaching it. Wow. And it's, wow. Like, this that's is a place, like, that's my home, God. Like, a lot of school in Mecca is the place we all love, but that's my home, God. Like, yeah, I've lived there, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've lived there, and, like, I, when when there's no students, or, like, mm. I'm just there on an off day, yeah. I'm, with, I'm just with the elders, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Listening to soul music, you know what I'm saying? That's dope. You know, and just hanging, like, building, and, like, it, it, that, that's home. You know what I'm saying? So that's why, like, you ponder shit, yeah. you know? And see, and that's why I said if anybody wants to know and some and simplicity, like, just simplicity, just straight to the, the essence Water. of this album, and I was saying this to you, the essence of this album is you, God, whether you want to wow. accept it or not, because you be like, you know, you be trying to downplay your dopeness, God. <laughs> but it's like you <clears throat> created the essence of this. Yeah, we create what we create, but the essence behind it and everything, people don't realize like the building and the connecting and stuff like that, man, that transpired before we even like started recording. Like mm. for real, like, like we were like just connecting the dots and stuff and you being a super busy person that got your hand in all different like projects and stuff you know what i'm saying from in the booth outside the booth to journalism man to like you know what i'm saying uh the uh, hosting on a radio show with dj you know toshi and all that man and just and and teaching the babies and stuff man teaching with the karate martial arts and the whole nine like it it took a long time for us to get to a point to where we even recorded the first song but all of this we built on it and we connected before we even like started recording and it was like i knew for over like 10 years 
when I first saw you online and I saw your uh and I saw you in a book. I saw you in a book. Uh I think it was like the science of self a book or something like that and it was like you had like the last chapter in a book and it was so powerful and I was like, "Yo, I said I got to find that guy. I got to find him." I said somehow me and him going to connect. So, yeah, God. So I, I feel like I willed that into existence. <laughs> Yo, word. Yeah, Yo, peace to Magno Garcia. That's another song crafter. That's not just the MC. Peace. That's a song crafter. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yo, yeah. see, guys like, I told you, guys like Magno, I used to be like, nah, man, I'm not MC. <laughs> you, know, I'm not, you know? Yeah. And it's just like being able to tra translate that. Like, you kind of like showed me the blueprint. You showed me the formats. Yeah. And we built about this stuff. Yeah. Like, we built heavy about pockets and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And you were showing me like, yo, God, you do have the pocket here. Mm -hmm. You know, like, mm -hmm. and it was, it was crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, God. I mean, we we really had, man. We really had it from uh, the joint with uh, the guy Infamega, you know, producing it. Um, to the gets deep. Um, to the build, man. Yeah, all the man. AP, the Overlord joint. Speak on that that one. The AP, yeah, the man. Yo, joint. that yeah. one. That one was so crazy because we you had the beat and it was like. We was already thinking, like, we need the last song. And a lot of people don't know, like, I've made my own magazines as well. And Our Swords was one of them. And our Sacred Words, you know what I'm saying? And Day Sun is the one that came up with that title. He's the one that came up with that title. And I was like, yo, that's the magazine. And um, when we was doing this, I was like, yo, this is Our Sacred Words. Like, we moved that, I moved that sword like a word. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everything is the same. And when we did it, you was like, yo, we need like a, a AP would fit perfectly on this, you know, because he got that voice that goes, you know, like AP the overlord. And it was like, yo, it'd be crazy. And I was like, yo, let me, I got to end this on like the most poetic shit I got. You know what I'm saying? Like really, really end this shit on it. Like show the blessing that it is and shit. So, I, oh man. Who wrote that fast? And I, that's God. The song originally had the title on a city on fire yeah. and a lot of times the names of the songs were sparking mm -hmm. us like blood mm -hmm. on the stained glasses were all all because of a woman was on and that no no um never respect fake was all because was uh called blood on the stained glass yep. and that's why i used that 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 name mm -hmm. that name in it you know what i'm saying but when we did the uh our, our swords i was like yo it's got to be called that yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. And and it was called City on Fire, so I was thinking about mm. the Mets. I'm a mm -hmm. Mets fan, and I was thinking right. about the silhouette logo. Yeah. And I said, view into the silhouette of the Metropolitan logo to perform pirouettes of a charlatan ergo. I was like, look into the city and see all these fake niggas dancing. You know what I mean? That's all Man. I'm saying. Yo, when you said that, I like lost the God. I was like, yo, I was like, yo, I was like, I get a verse at the beginning with him and then get one with him closing it out. And then a lot of people don't know anybody who hasn't heard this album yet. That last album, the guy soon yes wrote that hook. Even if you heard yeah, me yeah. saying it, the guy wrote that hook. That's why you that's, you fit you fixed it into the into it, you know what I'm saying? Man. But the man. line structure I had, I had the lines, you know what I'm saying, and the words, and I was like, yo, oh yo, salute to Eda Mad Assassin. That's another boom bap champion, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like in this these books, these books that I'm writing, mm -hmm. he's in here. You know what I'm saying? He's in here. Wow. You know? Very wow. That's dope. Like oh. yo, a lot of you brothers don't even know that I've already documented your shit. Like years from now, they're gonna open these shits and they're gonna be like, "Yo, yeah, you know, like you be with your grandkids and shit." Like, yo, I'm telling you, I was nice though. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I don't know, like I was nice. <laughs> hey, what they used to say about in them old soup commercials? It's in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, it's that joint. Yeah. And what? And why y'all at it? Y'all, y'all, y'all cop the book. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Snoop is yeah, 97 yeah. at gmail.com, y'all. Get that yo. book. You know what I'm saying? Yo. And you know, I see Octane. Peace to Octane. You know, when I was doing Mantras in the Mind of the Mission of Brothers Invisible Renaissance, all I was thinking about was Apreme. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I, 
Capital Day Prime. Mm. You know what I'm mm. saying? And right. he, his voice is so gravelly. It's like, yo. And I was uh -huh. like, the way I was talking. Talking there, he talks like that regular. Like <laughs> that's not even just an NFT voice. That's his regular voice. You know wow. what I'm saying? Yo, no we, doubt, was, no we, doubt. Peace we got something say one oh. That's my brother right there. Peace, you know God. what I'm saying? Um, yeah, we we were yo, channeling the inscription. Mm -hmm. Yo, Sim, you said that my younger physical is looping the inscription, reading the Peace Course book. <laughs> yo, that's so that's so dope. That's so dope. The inscription was mm -hmm. basically the solo song for me to just while out. And I basically made a song that I wanted to hear when I was younger. Man. Something that had knowledge in it, you know what I'm saying? So the first verse, I'm kind of showing you that I'm I'm that person that got it and was teaching, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yo, and I, and I flipped it. That's why at the end I said, yo, I, I say this acapella, uh, right? Uh, I said, uh, additions of my own element, like, like, like effervescence of excellence, evoke elevation as embryos eavesdrop on an elegant station. Examples of easel expression exemplify ecumenically equality for the earth of exemplary emblem. So exterminate exuberantly them egregious with executions of excellently enjoyed erudition. Sunni has a law, the inscription. Do you hear those pockets? Do you hear those pockets, man? It's like, Say it was, like, like reeling oh, it out. Man. And God, I, she was writing it out like a conductor. Yo, man, I had it there, though. This, and in and, and the chorus, it's all about the elders, man. Mm -hmm. Play the parliament mm -hmm. along. Mm -hmm. Peace brings the cycle, all is calm. The el elders gave me all my arms as I share the self-styled song. Mm -hmm. It's self-styled, but the elders was giving, giving it to me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I spent years and years doing shit, and the elders say, okay, all right. You know what I mean? And, yo, right. I know that song. I know Sim. It's all over it though, because the references to to Jiru Krishnamurti, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, you know the references, like yo, I had references there that are mad complex. Like I said, what was it? Um, in the second verse, I was basically doing the metaphor of a knowledge itself is an album. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and I said. I said in there, wonder it all as the Bao Ding swirls the thoughts through the pen of Lao Gong's chamber. All I said was that, like the way. You, the Bao Ding balls are the things you swirl, mm -hmm. the big balls that you swirl in your hand. So I said, as the Bao Ding swirls the thoughts right. through the pen of Lao Gong's chamber, Lao Gong's chamber is your, your palm right here. Right, right. So I'm just saying how ill I'm writing. All of the chi is coming out. Man. You know, like, yeah. That's all I said. Hey, <laughs> you, know? you, see, you see the guy said, uh, he said, he said, he's an MC. <laughs> 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 Told you, God. I'm telling you. Oh man! Like you being yo, a man, pocket and don't even realize you being a pocket. Like yo, killing it. yo. Thank you, man. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's just um, yo, sick boy. You know what I'm saying? Jeez. That's my leftover brother, man. That's my leftovers brother, sick boy. Shout you know out what I mean? The leftovers. Word, leftovers. Left you know what I mean? I had to leftovers, shout out the leftovers please. in the beginning and never respect fake. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And yo, that never respect. Fake, fake, man. You had so many lines, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's why, like, you kicked that real shit, and I was like, hey, come on, though. No. <laughs> you know I mean? like, Yo. Yo. It, it was wild, God. Like, it, it's crazy, man. Like, how we bounced, like, vocals back and forth and bars and whatnot back and forth with one another, like, catching each other off guard and just emailing it like yo check this yo check all right you got that we we'll check this out we we'll check that out. <laughs> it, was like, it was like back and forth guys yeah yeah and yo i'll add on though that rally around the family that's a um that song is about police brutality mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and the way you gave the macro i was like let me give the micro of somebody that was act like being on the the activist yeah. front line and rally around the family. That's a rage against the machine line. Man, I love fucking rage, rage against the machine. Yeah, me you know too. What I mean? yeah. And when I gave that verse, I was like, "That was real. That that's an actual real thing that happened." Like when we, it was, it was when Anthony Bios, who was killed by the cops when they choked him, mm. about a year or two later, his mother runs for council, mm. and we march and we march down. Tat's crew was there. A lot of people was there. Right. And we went down, and I'm in the back, and we're marching down the bridge to City Hall, 
And I'm like, I look up and I said, yo, Fat Joe. Mm. I said, Fat Joe, why are you not in the front? You know right. what I'm saying? Why are you not in the front? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is Fat Joe. Like, he's yeah. big. And, um, and like I said, I had seen Fat Joe many times. Right. I lived in the Bronx during this time. Right. And I, I was like, that's why I said he was humble. He was like, yo, I don't want to be, I don't want this to be about me in any kind right. of way. So I'm just going to be back here. Yeah. And so we was marching together, talking shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I was like, and then when we got to the, when we got to the barrier, I was like, damn, these devils could just kill us right now yeah. you know what i'm saying and i was thinking about what i'm learning about history and the bonsa massacre how they killed us in puerto rico when wow. they marched to puerto rico and said, yo they could kill us here if they wanted to yeah and that's what i'm saying like yo i want a day where i could fight back with yeah. real tangible right. things you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and um that's what i was thinking then and it's like that song because the things that you said on this album about yeah. police brutality and that the way we're treated yeah come on like they were so powerful like you know the solo cut that you have, Precious Cargo. Yo, tell them about that, cause that you was that's it. I call that the Jordan flu verse. Man, <laughs> yeah, God. I mean, you know what? It's like uh, it's wild too, because the way that came about, um, when the when the videotape surfaced of uh that brother, that young brother who was getting attacked by those like you know was like four or five like you know what I'm saying uh black uh officers man like it was just playing on the tv and i promised myself i wouldn't like watch it when they aired it because i was like i don't want to be triggered i'm laying up here sick like battling covid hard to breathe and everything and i opened my eyes and i'm seeing it and it just like it had me furious god to where i literally crawled over to my little studio setup cut the mic on and everything. I said, yo, I know I'm having trouble breathing, man. Got the asthma pump and all that. And I'm like, I'm putting the head, headphones on. I cut the beat on and I'm looking at the TV and I just hit record and I just start freestyling till I can't go no more. And then I just like stop and I catch my breath. I lay down for a second and then, it, and then and they keep replaying it, just letting it go on and on. And I'm like, no, fuck that. Get back, get back on, <laughs> press record again, freestyle yeah. some more, and that and the whole thing came together like just like freestyle, and it it just it was just a cry for us to say we sick and it tired of being so, sick and tired. It was so powerful, it was so powerful, God. And you was like, I remember when you sent it to me, it was like, Yo, you think this can make the album? <laughs> and I was like, I was like, Yeah, uh, yeah, the album got some space for some smoke. Yeah, it got some space for some fucking heat. Like, you know I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yo, like he's not sick and he's in the pocket. See, I say it don't matter if you're sick, you're still in the pocket. I was like, yo, man, you know, and yo, Octane, I see you. You said, Hey, Prem got that Mississippi granddaddy voice, yo. <laughs> <laughs> they were wilding out in the comment section. Yeah. <laughs> Peace to the guys, Nerfs Online, and all the righteous people. Yo, people. Man, everybody. Yo, Saladin, I see you, man. I see you on the YouTube, man. Peace. All right? You know what I mean? Yo, but yeah, yo, I thank everybody. AP, the overload, always sounds dope. And I love the way he was like, yo, we gonna get on. Word is born. Yeah. Like, he gave that yeah. spirit. Like, you get the chill when he rhymed that. Yeah, yeah. You get That's the why chill, he like, had to go first. It, like, this was a closing of that album it's like yo we're five percenters we do things for we do things for the love of the people the babies the children yeah. for something else you know yeah. what i'm saying something greater yeah and um when he put that verse it was just like it fits so good and it's so dope how you made that chorus i gave you and extended yeah. it mm-hmm. and then let it go into your verse yeah and then and i just had that spot at the end and i just like man, man. man. you brought and it yo, all home guy you brought it home, like, oh, man. I I be falling in love with certain words though. Like when we we me and my brother was kids, we saw Indiana Jones and, and yeah. the, the last one, the last one, the when we was kids, the one with um his father, Sean Connery. Uh, and when he says, "Only the penitent man passes," only the penitent man passes, mm. and that's what verse. I was like, "Yo, if you make it." The penitent man passes, and he sees a lot of fake niggas already got in. Right, and right. that's what I was saying. At the first. And, that's man. It. and that's why I said the the poor righteous teaches the man of magnificent debt because mm. 
We are old, mad shit. Yeah. We are old, old, mad shit because we doing shit and other people is, is blood sucking, other people is stealing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. we take on those debts. Right. You know what I'm saying? We take on the things. We're willing to take it on. Yeah. We sacrifice. Man. And that was what that verse was about. And it was just like, it didn't matter. It don't matter, God, because we blessed. The fact yeah. that we, that's what I was saying. Like, the fact that we created this work, mm -hmm. we're blessed. Man. You know what I'm saying? God, you know what? To add on to that. Yeah. To add on to that, Um, it reminded me of uh, in class last week when you were talking about how you got some artists where they kind of compromise in a sense where they're like, well, I'm going to do this and I'm going to get on this right here. Well, I'm, I'm going to get back to this. I'm working on something right there. Like, yeah. what the fuck? Like, yeah. like, don't nobody need you like that. You know what I'm saying? And not to mention, it's like, like you said, being a 5 percent is not about, it's not about being poor and I don't want to like, you know, have this and have that and whatnot. It's about when you sacrifice doing moments when it's not like convenient for you. Like it's easy mm -hmm. to sacrifice when shit is convenient for you. And a lot of these people, man, like they, they get caught out there. It's like, you know, like we made with the whole thing with certain people, you know, who get in the way with like rocking a flag and a whole nine. And oh, like right. you said, at a point in time, you know, you know, it was like, don't wear that if you can't defend it. Don't wear that if you can't defend it. And it's certain people that have rocked it who've been celebrities, a certain individual who's on one of the songs that, you know, that was touched on. And it's like certain people were around him when it happened and they never like, they never questioned it. They just looked at, well, it just brings more people to our nation and all that. And I'm like, I'm like, really though? Or does it like, yeah. kind of, you know, like, I mean, yeah, does it really? So it's like, we, like, nobody owes us anything for us to do what we do. And we did it from the heart. Yo, the way that people build is like the way you got, like, they always say the way you get a woman. The way yeah. you got a woman is the way you're going to have to keep her. So yep. if you let that shit go and that's how you get people in the nation, yep. that's how you're going to have to keep them. <laughs> Sloppy and not on the ball. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, people don't get that. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yep. And it's like, people make passes. I don't go with that passes. And I said that shit on the bill too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Hey, you get caught. I said no free transport. No free transport. You know what I mean? No free transportation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because cause people get caught out. Man, they get caught out there slipping and whatnot. <laughs> 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 like, 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 man, it'd be like one of them old things where, you know, the person be like, yo, call such and such right now. He'll verify for me. Like, nah, we ain't asking. We asking you right now. So it's like, <laughs> so yeah, it's like, like yo, so it's yo like, and that's the, that's the thing. Like, it's always been important for me, mm -hmm. like, as a teacher and stuff like that, if people just hear my name, that the works follow yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, people could learn about me and verify me without even meeting me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah. I could represent this station even when I'm not around. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that, that's what I meant on that last verse. It's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? That's a blessing. People don't really understand how much love I get when I go outside. That's why it's so funny that we made those troll tracks. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> really and so when you made those tracks, you was killing me. I had to keep from laughing when I was doing it. That's why I'm so serious. Like, peace. You know what I mean? Now, sorry, bro. You was killing me. You was killing me. <laughs> like, who you know? Who? <laughs> who? Yo. Yeah, girl. Um, I mean, yo, we just, th this album was so much fun. Come on, man. Like, yo, oh, man. Oh, man. The, 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 there's so much shit on it. Like, when you yeah. delve into it, there's so, there's so many bars. Like, I, yeah. you gave me that freedom to just flip it. I didn't have to worry if I threw something deep and shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had to work on making it musical, yeah. and it it just it came out crazy. You know what Man. I'm saying? Yeah. It came out. I just Man. wanted I just wanted you to I just wanted you to do you with no interruptions whatsoever. And I hop in it, and I hop in the mix like double Dutch man and find my groove and whatnot. Like do you because, like I said, 
it's certain things where you was like, okay, yeah, the pocket here and the pocket there. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about just stepping back and just let, let you do you because you mm -hmm. already you already created the direction subconsciously for the album. I mean, like you create the whole vibe and the energy for it, and we just did what we did, guy, right? organically. Right, you know right. And, yo, yo, sick boy, we definitely come on with the hard copies, you know what I mean? The CDs, and we're working oh, yeah. on the vinyl, too. You know yeah. what I mean? And, yo, big bro, man. I see big bro, man. Marcano. Peace. Brother Marcano, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, he was like, he saw the shit I was writing. He was like, mm -hmm. it was like, nah, we got to get this shit. You got to get you in the studio. Yeah. Like, you got to get you in the studio. You know what I mean? And I was like, <laughs> you know, all right. You know what I mean? I, I write something. And, from that track, Rogue One, uh -huh. man, that's the little things that pushed me to say, like, okay, I could do it and, and find my own voice and let me have the chance to have a voice. Yeah. You know, so that's why I got so much love. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, on so many levels for mm -hmm. my big bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Man, that's um, what's... Just crazy dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, man. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, Indeed. crazy. Uh, you know what I mean? And we came with it though. Like I, I yo, I have to like this whole album is like a genius dot com study <sighs> session and shit. Like I said yeah. a lot of shit that my like even some of the basic shit. Like when I said lines pile up on each other, like when I said don't trip, I'll take you through the portal rip. The invisible renaissance is deeper than Rosenberg's tiny iceberg tip because he's mm. he be finding Griselda and be like blown away. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, yeah. This like, dude, deep. this is deeper and, than that, and because, man. Yo, and I was, I was fucking with the lines because he's Jewish. Mm -hmm. So I was like, your music is just a wicked, wicked German prosky. <laughs> and it was and the words prove you cannot see. Oh, that not was, see. was crazy right and there. How vile, so high, 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 right? To yeah. the top of your plot, see? Like, I was just I was fucking around with that. Yeah, like, when you, when you yo, did, man... <laughs> Yeah, I caught that bar. I was like, yo. I said, that's what we doing? I bet this be perfect right here. And then when you had to, like, go back and you add it on to that intro. Oh, yeah. And I was like, yo, I didn't salute my leftovers, brothers, mm -hmm. though. And I was like, that's where we got to do it. That's where we got to do it on that track. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because they're the realists. You right. know what I'm saying? And everything about, when I say words, they're not just fancy shit. These are, this is real life. Like, when I say fire builds to burn bridges, that's my life as a right. journalist. My own fire builds to burn bridges. Mm -hmm. It wasn't my fault. It was my fire. Right. And slow toils drown shark biters. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. The people be doing slick shit, but you know what yeah. I mean? And they all drown at the shore of the pure because we didn't get left behind. We stayed in line. It's uh -huh. always like, oh, I'm mad because you got <laughs> left behind and shit like that. But, no, we but stayed behind. But, but you know behind. what? But you know, but you know what I'm saying. But you know what? It, it's like what people don't realize. And before I make this point, shout out to my brother EJ Wade, um, AJ and, and Asiac Divine. I see you in there. Um, but what people don't realize, man, is that when they say stuff like that, like you said, with your name and who you are, like not just in new york but outside like worldwide like when somebody says oh, you just met it's kind of like people who know the real are looking at them like nigga you just trolling because you got to be living under a rock if you talking about that person that they wish they had this that and the third like do you realize that he been side by side with that person. He knows that person. Have you? Are you familiar with his catalog of books? Are you familiar with the songs that he's been featured on? Are you familiar with the artists and the whole nine? Are you familiar with all the contributions inside and outside the community? Are you familiar with all of the people who he's knowingly taught and the people who who want to like remain low key and stuff like that who are being taught like? Who are you? Matter of fact, I don't need to know who you are. We got two skits dedicated to somebody like you who hating on them. That's, yeah, that's right. the important of those two skits because for somebody to say, no. for somebody to say that guy, and you know I get turned up when that shit happened. For them to say that, 
that's why I felt like them two skits was like so important. Yeah. Man. Yeah. The haters. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yo, and, and sandwiching it like on those because cycle of trife mm -hmm. and the inscription are like the heavyweight verses I had on the shit. Right, they were the heaviest shit and the most longest shit and the most controversial shit that I rhymed on this shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. And um, that's why I put the the skits around there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like when I, you know, um, and and it was just like. Yo, it had to be like that, you know? Yeah. But a lot, you know, I, I just want people to hear it and be like, yo, these brothers made song songs. Yeah. You know, these songs are, are about something. Yeah. Even the songs where we just like kicking the verses and shit, they mean something a lot deeper. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah. they mean something a lot deeper, you know? Like, yeah. they, they would, they was profound. There's probably only like two, only the intro and Brothers of the Invisible Renaissance, those are the only like real battle bar songs. Mm -hmm. Everything else is like a concept. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Everything yeah. else is a concept, you know? And when we did it, it was it was it was crazy. Like it was so much fun. It I was know. it was it was it was so crazy to, to it was so much fun to hear it slowly develop. Know. You know what I'm saying? Oh. I have the track and I'd be like, Oh, we did this one, this one's completed. Okay, I'm gonna work out with this one. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Had the swords is <laughs> Yeah, man. I, yo, I was working out to all these I was working out all the time with the song and I was like, okay, that's official, man. That's official, man. I yeah. feel it. Yeah. <laughs> the guy had to get the approval, like I don't I don't feel the burn on this one. Go back and do the mix again. <laughs> but but you but you know what? It's uh people People like have to understand, like you said, these are real songs. They're not they're not rap songs. They're real songs, like about real situations. It's reality rap. A lot well not rap, it's reality music. A lot of people always throw that around like loosely and I'm like, mm, you saying it's reality, but it's a limited reality. Like we went through chambers and layers of reality without uh without sticking to a uh, stereotypical or the expected like uh topics and whatnot. We made ourselves well, vulnerable with these lyrics, and not only that, the way you know something is really like real and it ain't just some raps but it's like real words real situations from real people real lyricism i challenge anybody right now to tune out the beat and just listen to the lyrics matter of fact if you want to like hear the if you want to hear the acapellas i'm willing to even go that far and let y'all hear acapellas without the beat the beat don't carry us we carried the beat we made the beats submit. We didn't submit to the beats. You listen to those, right. you listen to those lyrics, God. Like, you ever heard somebody that sound decent and they sound dope? And then when you cut the beat off, you be like, damn, I, I was wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's like when you but 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 when you yeah. if you listen to our stuff without the beats, it's like, yo, you can go in any setting, any setting non-music setting and you can use your you could use your lyrics Yo. and everything as, oh, as, as yeah. lessons. Think about it. that's the whole thing like when i write i try to make it beautiful right and in, in doing this i feel like yo the words i got into these songs they sound beautiful right. you know what i'm saying yeah they sound beautiful they stack up lovely you know what mm. i'm saying like mm. and that's why like like when we ended it with our swords, that shit is just like the epitome of what I was doing. That's why I said, I said, what knowledge my build to these times we laced the press. Word is bomb. We were blessed. Man. Right fly on it, even as we rise a notch. Songs captured of the birds you watch. Mm. Caged in the replay. We lived what we say. Mm. See what I'm saying? Now, see, and that's what I'm saying. Like, if you just walked up around somebody right. who is just highly intelligent and they just really and, and they really appreciated art just in general and 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 you just and you just started quoting it 
not even rhyming it, but just quoting it, you'd be like, I bet you they eyes light up and they'd be like, yo, what's that from? Like who like who who did that? And you'd be like, Oh that oh that's my yeah. You know what I'm saying? Samantha yo, Samantha, Samantha Lee, she she oh, purchased the, the album. Queen, yo, queen, oh, man. always we, support, always supporting, man. Man, always. appreciate the support. Like, hope you really enjoy the album, yo. Sunya's got some stuff cooking. Like right before his solo drop, yo, you need the uh, you you you're gonna be getting that that bonus that bonus joint only available for those who like got it exclusively off Bandcamp. Like it's free and it's gonna be in your inbox like any day now. Like it's it's some fire. It's a it's a thank you track you know just to say that we appreciate you know you appreciate everybody for supporting us and copping like the album like we did it for all y'all like for real yeah yeah man like man it is it's beautiful man i'm so happy with the response and everything you know what i'm saying and um mm -hmm. i think people weren't expecting me to have this diversity you know what yeah. i'm saying that yeah. i, I could they expect me to be able to write about lots of things, but not actually talk about all these different things on a song. Right. And that's that's why I'd be calling you Quincy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Quincy, come on. You know what I'm saying? Because you you molded that shit. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know about I'd be, yo, where do you find it, man? Like, you give it to me. And then I'll be like, man, I don't know, man. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this shit. You know? Yeah. But it was just like, and, and man, they, they just crazy. Like, the feel of the beat, like we get yeah. like a um, something could sound dope, mm -hmm. but they're not for anybody. Right. They don't work with anybody. Like some of these beats, like never respect fake. That beat don't work with a lot of people. Not, you know, I don't. It's like a horror pounding. It's very. It, it has a pounding essence, and a lot of people don't rhyme good on that. No, they don't. A lot, a lot of gun bars. Yeah. Yeah. A, a it, lot of gun yeah, bars. It's gonna be shooting out and shit like that. Yeah. And that's why I kept it to like uh, you know. And I just was bombing everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I, I went into a murder mode. You had me in the murder mode, like the horror <laughs> shit. That's how I was like, I was doing the verse like this. I was like, there's all this soup from main racist gringo. So much blood on the window. The moon corrupt is a pain widow. And of course, you know what I hate? I said the death of reggaeton on a plate. <laughs> Yo, I was loving it. Yo, <laughs> yo, I love it. I hate reggaeton. I hate those yo, same repetitive see, like, songs. <laughs> come on, made me comfortable. So I was going up and down the octaves and stanzas, which is more poetic. Yeah. Because I was deep on that. And then I came back and said, no time the liar of colorfully clad squires had drip. Mm -hmm. The drums are the only sounding of a clip. You know what I mean? Like I was going yeah. down and up. Yeah. You know? Oh, man. That, was, that, that song was like... I was like, yo, this is going to be fun. Because that was one of yeah. the first ones we did. Man, I know. But you know what's wild, God? It's like, as like you said on one post that you put up recently, we didn't even originally set out to have like, like features originally. Right, but it's right. crazy. At the very last minute, we got exactly what we didn't know that we needed. And right. it like, right. man, it just, yo, these features are crazy. And you know what? You know what's crazy? Cause like, and I, I say this as a as a thing because we got brothers that we love. Yeah. There's so many artists that I have so much love for, and they know it. Yeah. That they was that I got to give them all a salute because they would gladly get on this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we didn't make it like that. We was making this as like, yo, this is just us two doing this shit. Yeah. Yep. And we thought like, yo, but this particular song is incomplete. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. And it, it was. And the only one I was like, yo, infinite mind is boom bap to the boom bap. It was like, yo, he gotta be on Brothers of the Invisible Renaissance. Cause that mm -hmm. beat was so that that's like the most boom bappy beat that we got on the album. Man. So you know yeah. God, let me tell you, when you sent me cause at first cause you know me, I, I got that ear and I was like, yo. He was like, he was like, yo, we gotta get. He was, he was like, we we gotta get God on there. I gotta get my ain't lack -like on there. And I was like, yo, I said, uh, can you send me something so I can hear like how he sounds? Yes, and as yes. soon as you sent it, I said, <laughs> yo, <laughs> we already I'm got it. You know what I'm saying? 
That's why I call him Quincy. Come on, he's like, hey, you know, he's like, let me hear something. He's on his Quincy shit. Let me let me hear something. Okay, okay, that's what he's working with. Okay, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, he he laced it perfect, and you Yo, know, he did the ad libs. He mixed it himself. Like he gave it back, mixed perfectly. Like man, yeah. Infinite My that is incredible. That's why I nicknamed him. And I wrote in his original bio, mm -hmm. I wrote, I named him the Chiseled MC. That's, <sighs> that's what I named him. And his album coming out is going to be called the Chiseled MC. That's from <laughs> what I called him. You know what I mean? And I was yeah. like, yo, he chiseled. He chiseled, you, man. He came with that. You, you know what? Don't let anybody, anybody that's, that's watching this now and watching on the other streaming platforms, do not sleep on a guy like that, brother. Yo, yo he, he's another one that he ooh. lived his life like. I interviewed my brother Infinite Mind once, and I told him, "Listen, a lot of a lot of MCs we love, they're great, right? But all of the stuff that they talk about, mm -hmm. we actually did that shit. We actually got the knowledge. We went and did kung fu, like all the shit mm. niggas talk about. Like we did yeah. it, and yo, Infinite Mind was actually in Wu Dang Mountain doing kung fu. Wow, <laughs> so, so he learned up there, like he was up there in Wu Dang, like." And so, like, when he comes back and does, we do Kung Fu shit, like, yo, we really, really do this shit. Like, mm -hmm. we're not yes. just talking this shit. Like, we really was doing that shit. Like, we learned on Mount Morris Park. Like, we learned we learned at the top of Mount Morris. Wow. So where the, where the father had his first parliaments, that's where we used to go mm. to train with Seagung Bobby Whitaker. You know what okay. I'm saying? Right. At the top, at the top of Mount Morris, uh, you know, uh, Park. And we would go, it's literally a hill, God. It's like, it's like five long ass staircases. You got to rope around and go up. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Shit. And we would be there. We would be there in the summer training from, t we would have to get there at 12 p.m. And we wouldn't be allowed to leave until 7 p.m. Right. And even if we was like, yo, Bobby, I got to take a piss, man. He's like, nah, man, you're not training hard enough, though. You're not supposed to have any liquids. Damn. <laughs> like, like we're be so dehydrated from training, we can't even pee. Like, that's <laughs> damn. <it. laughs> he was like, "Fuck that shit! I need a Gatorade, guys." <laughs> yeah, and I was like, "Yo, after a while, you just got used to it." Like, we was doing, yo, when I was when I when I first started doing kung fu, I could do two finger push ups in waves like yeah. that. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. we was doing that shit on a hot hot concrete at the top of the mountain. Like, Dang. we was doing some real kung fu shit. Niggas don't know. So, like, when I rhyme that kung fu shit, like, yo. <laughs> you live that be wary. <laughs> be, be, be wary of what you're saying. Because I'm yeah. not just doing, like, you know, fun videos and shit. Like, <laughs> I really will stop the head off and shit. Like, <laughs> like y'all hear that, people? The God is not, like, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Yo, man, I wish I could walk around with these knives and shit like that. But people can sit there. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo. <laughs> yo, y'all listen. He is not, like, but just show and tell, he working with the swords, and then when it cut off, he over nah, at Burger man. King. <laughs> we we didn't we didn't learn for no tournaments and shit, man. We're not getting points with this shit, man. We learned to survive, man. That's why we so peaceful, though. True indeed. We learned to survive. You know what I'm saying? And yo, oh. man, yo, come on! I thought I had you only for forty five, though. But we've been on this shit for ninety, I man. Know. Yo, oh, yo. <laughs> The album is on Bandcamp. I put the I put the link there. You know what I'm saying? I'm it, it's it's the link. If you're on IG, the link is in my bio. It's in Kamal's bio. Yo, uh, follow us, friend us, like ask yeah. us questions and shit. Like, yo, if you like, what did you say on that verse? Yo, I'll be honored to yeah. say what I said on that verse. But I had so much fun on this shit. You know what I'm saying? And um, I Indeed. I could say now, like, yo, thanks to you, man. Like, and everybody that put me to this point from from Marcano to people saluting me, everybody that I've ever done a song with, Jokes Diamond, Skanks the Rap Monitor, like yo, yeah. Napoleon the Legend. I'm on a I'm not an MC and I'm on I wasn't even thinking I was an MC and I'm on a song with Napoleon and Sky Zoo. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's, so it's like so good. Yeah, so it's, it's like um it's such a blessing. But yo, I love you for everything you've done. Love you too, Come on, God. like let it, you know, let like, them and let them know you got let them know you got that new project coming too. I do, man. I got some shit, man. And um it, it it's it's crazy. It's crazy yeah. cuz some of my brothers that are giving me beats and I'm doing it 
me Willie Ways is putting it together for me. And Willie right. Ways is another great MC, man. He's mm -hmm. another great MC. Remember the perfection, my brother Kevlar Seven. Because Remember. Kevlar Seven, right? He was the dopest A and R I've mm -hmm. heard. Like so many MCs that had a dope, he would tell me they were dope even before they had anything. Yeah. Whether it was my man G Huff, whether it was Willie Ways, whether it was um, Zagnif Nori, who has incredible work. Mm -hmm. He was putting me on. He's like, yo, yo, Sunyas, check this out. He's dope. Wow. And they didn't, they didn't really have anything. Yeah. Yo, Zagnif wasn't even calling himself Zagnif Nori yeah. when he was fucking <laughs> telling me that he was dope. And I'll, you know, and you all these people form. put me in a position to express myself. So, like, in my life, I can say, yo, every single medium, that. Yeah, I've been on radio, FM and AM. You know what I'm saying? Podcast, you know, uh, magazine, newspaper, books, yeah. my own books, my own newspapers, my own magazines, let alone the other majors. You know what I'm saying? See? So See? it's like digital print, their digital print, and my own digital print, like everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's just a, it's just a blessing to be able to create in all these forms. You know, and it's like, and I have to add, obviously, Kung Fu to that. Like, I express yeah. myself through that. That's yeah. the beauty of that, you know? And every day, I'll just say this because I was talking shit about that. Real Kung Fu, every day that I promote peace and live a peaceful day, right. that's a success in the Kung Fu. That's right. the success, yeah. God. Indeed. And the fights that I prevent and the mm -hmm. fights that I can stop because people respect the skill. That's the blessing Indeed. in the Kung Fu, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like it's all of that. You know what I'm saying? Peace to the God, AP. I see you again. Peace, you know what peace saying? to like, God, yo. AP. Yo, with that ill verse, God, that ill feast. Yo, yo. Hey, you know what I'm telling everybody how sports, everybody's verse gives me chills, man. AP, you know what? Man. AP, your word has been bond. Your yeah. word has been bond. And I see you as a as someone that perseveres. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Not just with umbrella because you did your own thing you didn't make all this hoopla like you just said i'm gonna go do my own thing i'm gonna go do it yeah. and you did it when you was locked up i yo god the god knows i wrote mm -hmm. to you and i i was not saying it's all good god you know it's peace i was going in on you god i was like yo god you too dope you too ill yeah. you gotta do greater and you know what you came out and you did greater like you man your success story like yo you're like it's um, it, yeah. it's beautiful, God. Yeah. And when you when I hear those records and stuff, like people don't know how does AP have so much soul in the song? Like, man, that's a, like there's blues inside that 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 heart. There's vocals. The vocals got blues in them. Man, you know what I mean? yeah, you know, the vocals you know. got blues in them. Yeah. God been through things. You, get, you know what I'm saying? My brother King, come on, been through things. You hear it in that verse, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you hear a Thin Line, I couldn't even rhyme about. Baby, I was always like, nah, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was like, I, I looked at my BM experiences and I was like, do the right thing. I was like, hey, you got it, man. You got it. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let you add in. <laughs> yeah. So I had to write about something I loved, my old earth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, 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 that gave me the, that made me a writer. You know what I'm saying? Man. Yo, to those that don't get, like, my old earth when I was in college, she said, you better have an extracurricular activity there. And I said, shit, the only thing I know how to do is write. Well, then you better go wow. write. Wow. And my brother, my twin brother was writing in the college newspaper. And I said, let me write in the college newspaper. Mm -hmm. First article ever I published. Right. The three R's that feed and starve hip-hop. Radio, record labels, and R&B. Dang. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my first hitter. Wow. I started with wow. that. That Dang. was the first piece I ever wrote. And it was like. 2,000 words because I argue with my brother the hell. I said, you got to put the whole thing in. You know? <laughs> Yo, and you came out guns blazing. <laughs> guns blazing. Yeah, like guns blazing. You know what I'm saying? And, and all these people have given me a form for my brother helping me out. Like my twin brother. This is my twin brother. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And my sister who mm -hmm. used to, when I was a kid, she used to tell me about being poetic. All of that shit. Wow. All of this shit leads up to me being a You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? She used to talk about the beauty of poetry and shit. We used to laugh at her and make fun of her and shit. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we saw it later. We saw it later. You know? All of these lead up to me making this this kind of, all this stuff that I make, though, God. And it was just, man, it was awesome, man. If you were going to get that bonus track, they're like, yo. God, that's, that is so dope, God. And I want to say this. Um, 
before uh, heading out. Uh, I want to thank you. I want to thank you, God. Like, this album is like, it represents, this is our Illmatic, in my opinion. I also think that it's the, the digital flowers and musical form that's long overdue that you should have gotten and that you're going to continue to get from various people that already know your dopeness. Like Jordan said, you know, he said, I heard him say it recently. Not, not hear him say it recently. I heard, a, I seen an old clip where he was like, you know, when you the best, you don't have to say it. The people already are going to say it. You know what I'm saying? And people know what you bring to the table because you've been bringing it to the table before an album was like even manifested. You know what I'm saying? So I want to say that I appreciate you. I appreciate, you know, you know, you teaching me, you know, taking chances on me and stuff, building with me and everything, connecting, yeah, man, guy. and just adding your greatness, like, God, to this, because I know for a fact, no matter how dope anybody will say or think that I am, you know, I accept that, but you creating this album together with me, God, this is like the best album that I've ever been a part of there's not one song on this album that make there's not one album there's not one song on this album that makes me cringe you know how you think something dope and you be like caught in the moment and you go back years later like and you have a joe button moment where when he hit pump it up in the club he'd be like <laughs> you know what i'm saying like so it's like so it's like this right here nothing cringe you know what i'm saying like god like you know, anybody that know you or has even connected with you know that you the realest. I want to say, uh, That's I, you know what I'm saying? I want to say shout out to, you know, Infinite Mind. I want to say shout out to AP Overlord. I want to say, uh, give a shout out to uh, Backwoods Sweetie. Uh, Sweetie. Right. You know what I'm saying? I want to uh, give a shout out to Harmony Equality. Uh, man, I want to give a shout out to uh, DJ Toshi. Um, Jay Toshi, my brother. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I want to um give a yeah, shout out to yeah, Serious Beats, uh, Inf Mega, um, Malika La, aka Leak C, uh, Leak Sizzle out of C Medina, who uh produced the track um, uh, Thin Line and also Cycle a Trike. Uh, man, it's like it's been beautiful, guy, and I can't wait for everybody who hasn't heard it yet to like head on over and get their hands on that digital copy you know like like you said God earlier we're gonna have a um we're gonna have a uh cds and we're gonna have like limited vinyl edition coming up right. very soon man like it, it's it's a beautiful thing god like for you it's a whole lot more albums to come uh for me you know what i'm saying my announcement right here right. this right okay. here this right here is my final album. This is my final album. That doesn't mean I'm that not that doesn't mean I'm unplugging my mic. Hold up. <laughs> I'm like a uh, Billy Mays, but wait, there's more. Uh <laughs> I'm only um I'm only gonna be like, you know, throwing singles out there, probably an EP there or EP there. But I feel like this when you are at the top of something so beautiful that you created. Like for me, this to me is more magical, no mystery, more magical to me than any plaque that I've had, any billboard experience that I've had, anything like that. This is like the most important album that I've ever been a part of, man. And I just can't wait for you all to like check it out. And if you have checked it out, man, just revisit it. Even if you need to chill, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes people get caught up in the moment and be like, yo, that's dope, that's dope. And then, you know, they fall back for a bit and they go back and listen to it again to see if they get the same feel. Yeah. I yeah. guarantee you, anybody that yes. kicks yes. back for a bit and comes yes. back, you are going to get more out of it the second and third and fourth spin around and then some. You're not going to come back and be like, 
Well, it, it, I thought it was dope, but it's not as dope as I thought it was. Yo, I promise you, 13 bangers, two funny skits. If you're not a person that's into skits, go straight to the bangers because you got 13 of them to choose from and with superb MCs, uh, teachers, and just it's all love, God. Right? Word, word. And yo, Samantha, we thinking about making a video of certain songs and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It's, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's in, it's in the works. It's in the works. We yeah, don't, we yeah. don't surprise them, God. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Definitely. You know what I mean? But yo, man, I'm going to wrap this up, man. Yo, go to the band camp now. Like, we're going to have the copies. It's going to be in all the DSPs soon. Yeah. You know? So, like, if you like the other ones, Spotify, whatever, like mm -hmm. that, you know, the YouTube mm -hmm. music, all that kind of shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's gonna oh, be yeah. there and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? So you could you get it there and everything like that. You know and um, Indeed. yo, one thing though you already know like <laughs> nobody's fucking with me on the quotables, man. Nah, like, I, 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 yeah, I'm gonna go back in the lab though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like now yeah. I'm gonna be a dick when I write about music and shit. I'll be like, nah, I'm gonna just write reviews and be like, nah, this shit not hot like mine. <laughs> Be like that. I turn into a Benzino journalist. You know what I'm saying? Like, my shit is hot, and I don't know about this other shit. I know, right? You, know like, you gonna get two bikes. You get one mic. Yeah. But you know what? Though I'll, I'll say this though, right? Mm -hmm. As a journalist, to be embedded and make my own work, and yeah. I'll say this though, and there's certain people, so I know who they are. So it's a dart. Yeah. If you rhyme, if you a journalist and you rhymes, mm -hmm. you're number two to me. Yeah, pretty. You're much. number two. You always gonna be number two because you're not fucking with what? You're not fucking with my Miami Vice phone. You know what I'm saying? And you're not <laughs> Crocking with and subs. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> right? You're not fucking with that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it gives me even more insight to how the music is made. Yeah. What yeah. the Difficulties are like how difficult it is, and how much more amazing certain people's verses are. And people know, and they've read it, they've seen my work, how I understand mm. it. But mm. I actually, if it's if it makes any sense, I actually understand it even more now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, and I certainly, I certainly understand that. Like you, you forced me. I, I didn't know I had this much breath control. I didn't know, you know, like thank you, yeah. thankful to the kung fu and the chi kung, but I have yeah. much more breath control than I thought. You know what I'm saying? Man. And um, it's just a blessing, you know what I'm saying? Man. And um, it's not to be like MCs that battle anyone or like are better than anyone. Mm -hmm. I just want to be able to express myself in all mediums. Yeah. And and that's that's the blessing, you know what I'm saying? And with this album, like I know I'm a, I've listened to it so many times, and it just sounds. I'm so proud of it. Like I'm so honored yeah. that we did it. Like it just came out so I tough. No. You know right. what I mean? There's no song that, like, my daughter was on this, like, that was dope in itself. That was, like, the dopest person in here. Sorry to everybody here, but my daughter being on the IG for a while. Was <laughs> you know what I mean? And she confirmed. She said, listen, she never heard Poppy rhyme wow. his own verse or nothing like that. Never. Yo. You know, it was other people's music. She heard me sing a lot of damn songs and way too much, but, like, <laughs> she never heard that. But, um, but now. Now she might have to hear me say some bars and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, but, dope. Uh, it's dope. Yeah, man. man. But yo, go to the bank camp, yo. Let us know what you think. Like if you and if you like to share it with somebody because that that word of mouth though is powerful. It you is. Know what I'm saying, and we're gonna work, you know, to get interviews and shit like that with people that uh, is is official, like Samantha. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. um. And we could build about the album from the perspective of whoever heard it and what they think about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, and it's tough, man. So even if you like that 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 greatest pop MC ever, <laughs> 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 yo, you can't you you be like, damn, you can't deny it. You can't deny it. You know what I'm saying? The real argument though is who who shot. Who shot harder though? Was it Nas or was it Sunya? Like, the... <laughs> Who came harder yo. though? Who was yo, man? Yeah, guys. Because I'm telling you, yeah, because um, damn, you know what I mean? Like we we came with that shit, man. We came with yeah, that shit. And, and yo, thank you, Quincy Kamal. Like yo, thank you, God. God. Man, appreciate like the you, guy, man. King, King come on, man, King come on. Like if you didn't know about him, like that's that's the guy. Like he's amazing. 
You know what I'm saying? And um, I knew it, and it was so dope to see how much more amazing you are. Look at how you work from behind the scenes. Man. That's what that, that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, Humble. you're stellar, God. Like, you're stellar, God. The, the craftsmanship, the songwriting. And if you didn't know, like I said, man, pick up those early albums, though. Like, they're all over these albums, you know? And, like, yeah. soul. Param Paramount. Soul. That's what I said. Use a soul singer, man. Paramount EP. <laughs> you know, a soul yeah. singer with verses. You know what I'm saying? Like, man. It's beautiful shit. You know I'm what I mean? humble, man. I'm humble. But yo, I'm going to conclude this. I'm going to send people to the band camp, man. Listen for yourselves. I quoted Matt Bars and shit already. I was quoting crazy today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, yo, thank you to everybody. Because everybody here, my Leftovers Brothers, Bobito, mm -hmm. Sick Boy, Marcano, you know what I'm saying? All the MCs that came in, it's an honor that MCs even look at me and look at my work and shit like that and appreciate what I do. You know what I'm saying? Everybody on the YouTube, you know, my brother Rock, I see Rakim, Lyric Lab, thank you. Thank you. He wrote Blessing Sunnias from the Welfare Poets. Yo, thank you. You know, legends, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, and everybody that has, like, Napoleon the legend that has given me great words of confidence and shit like that, you know, he's doing something. He said, paralleled what I was doing in this new foray Right. Because he's releasing an album in French. Mm. And he's never done that before. So we was talking a lot during this album process, guy, about right. how we're doing kind of the same thing. Something right. new, expressing ourselves. Right. And um, whatever language Napoleon rhyme in, it's going to be banging. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's more to do is a legend. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, um, you want to know, go to the band camp, support us in any way, stream it, you know, share songs. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo. It, 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 everything means something. Soon, everything means something. Soon, yes. KingKamal.BandCamp.com. Uh, like the guy said, where it's going to be available on all streaming platforms. Uh, but like I tell people, for your favorite artists, man, to really, really support them, you know what I'm saying? It's good to have convenience for, like, the streaming platforms and stuff like that just for convenience but still support your favorite artists directly because streamer services, they are a ripoff. They're there for convenience, but if you really rock with somebody, yeah. go to that band camp, man. Because we do this for y'all. And, you know, I represent revolution. I represent this nation. I represent rebellion. And, yo, salute to Ness, though, because you're an inspiration with that. You know what I'm saying? I have done, you know, thousands of push-ups with Ness's music, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. the system Don't Work, incredible album. You know, he knows how much I love that album. Word. You know what I'm saying? ALX, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. Dead Press Family, all of that RBG, you know what I mean? Like, right. I'm inspired by everybody. I'm inspired by everybody, and there's a little bit of me